Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video. It is about blocking granny squares. So my mom is making this. She's crocheting an afghan for my cousin for her wedding and um, came across this technique that she's developed to um, smooth these granny squares out. So what we're gonna be doing is steaming them over the stove. So you're going to need a pot and I filled the pot with one to two inches of water just from the tap, lid for your pot, some tongs, and a cooling rack. All right, so we've got our granny squares over here, and we have our water. It's simmering gently, and you can see the steam. So we've placed our cooling rack on top of our pot with our water, and we are just, oh, and let's see, we have our stove to what, medium? I think that's what we did. So we're just gonna take a square, Set it on top and put our lid on. And we're just gonna wait about 10 seconds. <laughs> this is the granny square dance. Okay, I think that's about 10 seconds. So we're going to take our lid off and use our tongs to take this off. And now we're just gonna shape it. So we're gonna stretch the corners. We're gonna try to flatten it. All right. Okay, and now we're gonna set this one aside. That one's done. We're gonna take our next square, and once it really gets going, while you are shaping a square, you can have one steaming. <laughs> but since we're not, we're not, you know, I'm no professional yet, so I'm gonna wait my 10 seconds and then this next time, when I take this off, I'm gonna immediately put another one on and then shape the one while it's cooling. So then you should get kind of a system down, you're not wasting time. So, should be 10 seconds coming to a close. <laughs> I feel like I'm in school again. Like you have to have a minute long presentation. There we Seems go. like forever. Okay, here we go. Oops, oh, use your tongs. <laughs> Set that there. I'm going to place another one on to let that steam. And I'm going to reshape this. And it's not too hot, is it? It's not too hot. It cools pretty quickly. I'm going to turn it over. Press it down. Get the edges nice and good. Okay, add that to our pile and keep going here. Take that one off, put a new one on, lid, and flatten this. It's just warm. And the yarn doesn't burn. This yarn is 75% acrylic, 25% wool. Okay, so just to show you guys, this is the before. It's kind of crinkled on the edges, wants to roll in on itself, curl up, and it's stiff. When you shake it, it do, it's not really as flexible as after the process, they're flatter. They have much more give and movement to them. They're just more fluffy. Easier to work with, softer. So yeah, if, I hope you guys find this technique helpful. Please leave a comment, share it, uh, use it, let me know how it works. See ya.